today i'll show you how you can schedule your social media post from airtable so i have already prepared the content to be posted along with the image link as well as the date on which i would like to share this content basically i have scheduled everything in my airtable and i have already opened my facebook instagram and linkedin account as well now in order to automate this social media sharing i will have to first to build a connection in this airtable and in this three social media applications which i will do with the help of pabli connect which is an amazing integration and automation software yes using this software i am going to connect my applications and automate my task okay i am an existing user of pabli connect so i am already logged in here you can create your free account in pabli connect in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation so i have directly pasted the name as schedule social media post from a table now it is asking to select the folder so i am selecting this main workflow folder clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application okay so in this way you need to always choose your applications in the trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case i am not going to select a table as the trigger event but i will search for schedule which is an interesting feature of pabli connect via which you can schedule your automations you can schedule your workflows okay so in this schedule you will have to select that how often you want to run your workflow so i want to post something on daily basis so i'll go with this every day and here you can also select the timing okay so i think the timing of morning will be good so how about i go with the same timing that is this 10 12 am clicking on save and in this way my automation will be scheduled successfully for this specific time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done which is scheduling now i will find out the current date basically i will first fetch out the current date that what date today it is and then i am going to search that date in my airtable records and if my current the date and the date of this airtable post gets matched what will happen the detail of that particular record will be captured via pabli connect and how i am going to do that firstly simply search for the date and time formatter which is again a very interesting feature of pabli connect via which you can apply different kind of operations within your date currently i'll go with the same that is this current date clicking on connect and it will be connected immediately now it will ask you to specify the basic format so i would recommend you to kindly keep the same format which you have added in your a table data because we are going to search our current date in this particular data so it will be easier to find out that okay so the current date format is this ddmmyy so i will be searching for the same from lord of date and time format okay so ddmmyy okay so this is the format i have selected which is separated via these dashes okay and in my a table also you can find the same date time format basically the date format separated via dash only okay now i'll be clicking on this button save and send as request and you will notice that it will immediately give me the current date which is actually 25th of 11 2023 let me show you the same here you can notice it is actually 25th of november only okay so in this way the second step of our automation is also done now finally i am going to search this specific date basically my automation is going to search this specific date in my a table record and when it will find out this particular date it is going to capture the data of that specific record how we can do that click on this plus icon and because we are going to make a search in the a table so i'll be selecting the same that is a table only all right so i have selected the action application now it is asking for the action event so here my action event will be search a record because of course i am going to make a search of the date clicking on connect clicking on add a new connection and for the connection it is asking for the token so directly click on this developer hub if you are already logged in in your airtable account and it will redirect you to this
this specific place from where you can actually create a new token okay so clicking on this button and let me provide some random names so social media posting i'm providing this particular name asking to select the scope so i'll be selecting all the important scopes one by one which are mentioned already in the help text in these instructions here you can notice this data record read data record write the data record comment read comment write and the schema based reads schema basis right and also this webhook manage okay so let me search for the same let me select for the same one by one all right so i have selected all the scopes further again as per the instruction i am going to add a new base so coming back clicking on this plus icon and let me search let me select for the same and finally i'll be clicking on this create token button and in this way i will get a token let me copy come back and let me paste the same here and in this way you can also connect your airtable account with the pabli connect very easily all right so it is connected and because we are connected here you can notice whatever the bases are available inside my airtable account have started visible here yes all these bases are visible from my airtable account only okay so the name of current base is the social media post okay so let me search for the same coming back to the dashboard searching for the same that is social media post okay and as soon as i select the base here you will notice the table name will be fetched up automatically automatically okay so here we have the table name as captions and images coming back and here you can notice it has got selected automatically and now it is asking for the field name basically in which particular field you want to do the search okay so i would like to do the search in this particular field that is this date field okay so coming back and i'll be selecting the same here also you can notice whatever the fields are already available in my airtable account have started visible here and i have selected this particular one asking for the search value so i have already told you that we are about to search the date the current date in our a table okay so i will be adding the same and the interesting thing here is i'm not going to manually copy the daily date and paste below again and again i am going to map the above date here and mapping will replace this date automatically whenever our automation will work in real time and how you can perform mapping click on this field and you will find the same data the above data here in the response simply select that data and it will be mapped okay and again telling you whatever the details you will map here will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time okay but if you will specify any detail manually what will happen that detail will remain same okay so this is the difference in providing the values via mapping via manually okay asking for the filter by formula well i do not want to apply such type of thing so i am leaving it blank asking for the sorting field so how about i keep the same that is this content to be posted sorting order again it is your choice whether you want to go with ascending or descending asking for the maximum records okay so if i will leave it blank it will automatically detect the default value that is one okay so that is why i am leaving it blank clicking on this button save and send as request and you will notice that the response of this particular row will be captured because according to my automation only this date has matched with my current date okay so coming back and let me check the details so first of all we have the record id for the we have the date and time and this is the content to be posted let me show you this particular content that is the social media has become an essential tool all right coming back and checking for the same and here also you can find the same content to be posted that is this social media has become an essential tool for businesses coming back to the dashboard once again and this is the current date basically the scheduled date on which i have scheduled my post and this is the image link how about i open this image and check that what exactly we are about to share on facebook instagram and this linkedin account okay so closing it then coming back to the dashboard of pabli connect and again i'll click on this plus icon and will select facebook yes because i want to share the same image and the same content on different social media platform like facebook instagram 
program so i'll be selecting the same application one by one will be connecting the same application one by one and will be automating these posts one by one okay so firstly i'm searching for the facebook pages because i want to do the same i want to post the same thing on facebook pages asking for the action even so i'm selecting this that is this create page photo clicking on connect clicking on add a new connection directly click on this button and it will ask you the access of your facebook account if you are not logged in already but i am already logged in so it is simply asking me for the permission so i have clicked on this continue and you will notice the authorization will be successful and my facebook account will be immediately connected with pabli connect and again because we are connected whatever the pages are available inside my facebook account have started visible here okay so i would like to post everything on this specific page yes the name of my page is this pabli okay currently i have 37 followers so i'll be selecting the same so coming back and let me search for the same all right so i have selected the same and finally it is asking for the message to be posted as well as the link url okay so again instead of copying the data here i'm going to map the data and you can access the previous data from the response of previous step by clicking on this particular field okay so remember we have captured the message the content the caption from our airtable search record application step okay so let me select the same it is also asking for the link url so i have this image url so i will be adding the same finally clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to receive and if that response is positive that means my post and image has been added Added successfully on my social media account on my Facebook account okay so here you can notice it is showing a positive response going back and let me refresh my page and waiting for the post to be shared automatically along with the image scrolling down and here you can notice the same content has been posted that is social media has become an essential tool for businesses to connect with their customers increase brand awareness and drive sales let me maximize this content also okay give me a second and yes it is the same that is social media has become an essential tool for business to connect with their customers increase brand awareness and drive sales okay so in this way you can connect your facebook application with the pabli connect and automate the posting of social media via a table okay and here you can notice one more interesting thing that i have also attached an extra video link along with my caption so if that application the social media application is supporting the url what will happen it will automatically post the same thing in the exact way let me even show you that in the exact way but let's say if any application is not supporting this url it will be ignored automatically your post will not consist of any error will not face any error like in case of instagram it doesn't support links so what will happen the same link will be posted into the text format okay so it is completely up to you whether you want to attach any link along with your caption or not okay currently i'm proceeding with the same okay so in this way i think fourth step of our automation is also done yes it was fourth only clicking on this plus icon once again and searching for the instagram which is going to be the fifth step of our automation of our workflow okay selecting this instagram for business then clicking on action event basically selecting the action event and because i want to publish a photo so i'll be going with the same clicking on connect clicking on add a new connection and once again it will ask you the access of your instagram account only if you are not logged in into a different tab but i was already logged in so authorization is successful and my instagram account is also connected with the pabli connect now it is asking to select the instagram account to use so i have a single account only so it has got selected automatically finally it is asking for the photo url and the caption and again instead of providing any any data manually i will be mapping it and again telling you mapping will replace these details automatically when our automation will work in real time okay it is asking for the photo url remember we have captured the image url also from our a table step all right finally it is asking for the caption so let me scroll down and also map the caption all right it is done you can also read the instructions that to image to be posted the image to be posted can be actually 
file file or a public file if it is public file url it must start with https or http supported formats are jpg gif png ico and bmp okay and here the ratio is also given also provided okay and here also some instructions are provided so i would like to recommend you to kindly read everything okay so in this way the fifth step of our automation is done well i will have to check whether it was fifth or a sixth step and yes i was right it was the fifth step okay but i will still have to click on this button then only the number thing will appear along with my instagram application step okay give me a second waiting for that fingers crossed and here you can notice the response is received going back now i will be refreshing my instagram account and you will notice that the same content will be posted here automatically okay well i have tested the same two more times earlier so that is why it is showing the same content and basically my previous content and this one is the latest one let me show you the same social media has become an essential tool for business to connect with their customers increase brand awareness and drive sales okay and here also you can notice a link is provided okay so in this way the fifth step of our automation is done now moving further i will show you how you can also post your data on linkedin account as well so click on this plus icon and searching for the same that is linkedin okay give me a sec Again, and selecting the same application now i will again select the action event okay so basically in this way only you can click on that plus icon and add as many as action steps as you want and automate your complex business processes okay selecting the action event that is the share an article or a url clicking on this connect button clicking on add a new connection clicking on this button again you will have to provide the access if you are not already logged in but how about i go with the existing connection because i have already connected my linkedin account several times okay several times i'm really sorry clicking on save and in this way my linkedin account will be also connected with the pabli connect and first of all it is asking to select the author so i have a single author only in my linkedin account so it has got selected automatically finally it is asking for the content the article url as well as the visibility of the article visibility of the content okay so again i will map the details from the a table response data okay so this was my content coming down here and let me also map the image link again from my a table step okay so all right it is done but before i click on this button let me visit my linkedin account and how about i delete the existing account so that i can show you how new post will be visible here okay so coming back clicking on this button save and send request waiting for the response to be received all right fingers crossed well the response is received going back let me refresh my linkedin account and wait for the same post to be added here automatically okay so currently i am into the post and activity section only from where i can actually access my instagram things okay this is the profile section and from here you can reach out to the post and activity section and here you can find your own recent activity basically all your activities and here you can notice the same thing has now mentioned on my linkedin account as well and it is the same content and you can notice that the link has been removed the youtube video link has got removed automatically okay so in this way with the help of this automation software pabli connect you can automate the process of scheduling your social media post directly from a table and in order to automate this process you just need to create this automation workflow inside pabli connect once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this six step automation workflow inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my automation workflow into the description box so click on this link sign up for free into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that to for free and again by clicking on this plus icon you can add as many as action steps as you want like you can also go with twitter application also okay so i hope you have understood everything
Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabbi Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabbi.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabbi Connect and for the latest updates of Pabbi Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate to make their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video